some little clips of us working um, on the bed still got a lot left to do and some deciding to do as far as how I'm going to trim out the back end of the truck and um, kind of how I'm going to do the front of the bed but I had originally thought about cutting a trough in here and stepping this down for the gooseneck hitch but after getting it set up and looking at it the ball is gonna be less than, it's like an inch and a half. Um, the bed's an inch and a half higher than the ball, so that's not gonna be that much more to jack the trailer up to get it over it. So I'm just gonna leave that opening for the, for the, the neck and the um, safety chains. I just got that piece of sheet metal up there for the, for the decking, and we'll have to trim it out um, to make the hole open. This opening here is a little bigger than the rest because I wanted a piece of C channel on either side of my tire. I didn't want my tires getting into it if I get a load on the truck. And um, so we put a piece of 3 8 flat bar across flatways on here to help stiffen up the, the decking that's going on it. Made mounts. Uh, the mounts that's on the truck was already there for the... Um, tanker bed that was on this truck originally uh, made another little flat bar tab um, 
there that bolts to the side and there's one in the back i'm debating on if i need another one anywhere or not i don't really think i do um but we'll see got trimmed out for the for the wheel well which looks pretty good i may kind of put a piece of flat bar in here and shape it i don't know had to cut out uh in the frame rail for the the bed and notch out for the hitch and all that and i had that big thick piece of metal there as a weight and i just left it on um that kind of gave the truck a little more traction and made it ride better but up here we tapered these sides in um i left a pretty good gap up here in the front because i don't really know what i want to do about a headache rack yet and i might maybe something i add later for right now this is on here for um i'm going to put decking on it piece of metal bolt my air hose reel right there um taper this side in i may continue this from here to here i've not decided yet if i'll do that and how it would look and i may put some kind of a headache rack on it but you know i just i don't want to take that down because i've got all my lights mounted on it the stacks mounted to it and all that stuff so um also 12 feet worked out good for the flooring and that's what we made is a 12 foot bed if i come up here longer i'm going to have some waste um so trying to be conservative uh that's why i kind of did things the way i've done it i probably could have done it better but i think it's going to work good there's not going to be a lot hauled on the truck might haul some pallets fertilized might haul a little, little bit of hay but my fuel tank's going back on there my air hose reel i'll have a toolbox may end up getting some uh bottom mount toolboxes a mount under the bed later um i just can't afford it right now it's kind of everything i do is a work in progress it's just what i can afford at the time and then we'll add more change later that's kind of like when i first got this truck i'd kind of like to have a bed on it but i went two years without one because i couldn't afford it um i'm gonna try to dress this back end up a little bit I, I'm, I'm just thinking on what i want to do there but i got this side rail it's a piece of four inch this here's cross members of three inch channel that's four inch worked out perfect for this metal to go up under um price diamond plate metal piece of eighth inch um diamond plate steel was like 320 dollars, and that was just out of my budget and this here will work just fine for for me it ain't a show truck it's gonna be something that's gonna be worked but i do want it to look good at the same time everything's fully welded uh we got everything cut tacked up and went back and welded it and uh worked a couple hours the first day uh, we had to unload the metal and get everything stripped down off the truck and we put the frame rails down and two cross members the first day the yesterday we got everything cut tacked and fully welded on the frame of the bed um, in one day. But when you got several people welding, had three MIG welders going, and some people inside the frame rail, some outside, they'd switch back and forth, and we got her knocked out in a hurry. But uh, I'm excited to get it finished.
you burn a hole. Go a little faster with it. We're getting closer. Got all the floor on. It's pretty much welded. Got a little grinding to do and a little more welding to do on the floor. Um, got a piece of C-channel put across the front here. Biggest reason for that gap is just my stack and all that stuff. And like I said, it is what it is. It worked out for 12 feet with the metal good. Um, back here, I ended up using the same tail light mounts and tag lights and all that. I just cut it loose and moved it to back farther, and uh, then we boxed in around it. Don't look, I mean, it don't look great, but it don't look bad either. Um, you got to buy in a bunch of lights. I, LED lights and different things to put in this. It's gonna get expensive. I do have marker lights and that type thing for it, but um, I'm excited to get it painted and get my fuel tank and air hose and all that back on. Got this fixed for the air hose reel to bolt down to. Still quite a bit of work to do, but we've got her a lot of it knocked out. Got to put a little triangle gusset in here for and uh, to brace this back piece, and probably put a light in it. But we'll check back with you later once we get some more done. Oh, let me show you. You can see the hole for the hitch now. 